Hey guys, coming to you from Florida. This is my quarantine place as we speak. I hope you're all doing well, and I just wanted to speak briefly on the coronavirus. You know, I I think the Lord allows these things to happen in order to wake us up as a nation and the world. Uh, I really believe that people really start considering eternity and the supernatural and whether God exists and the truth of Jesus Christ when certain things such as sickness and natural disasters happen. When these things happen, we tend to become worried and anxious and fearful and we begin to wonder and think, really, is this life all that there is? Because if it is, it's quite easy to lose the physical aspect, the temporal um, satisfactions that we have in life with with things, with money, um, with cars, housing, books, whatever it is that has captivated you. And I think the Lord is just permitting this as it is a minor to moderate thing. You know, it's not claiming the lives of everyone it meets, but we still want to be cautious. But I think the Lord has been merciful with allowing this to happen because he's trying to get us to to come to him. He's drawing us to him through this, and we have to see that. I think a lot of us, and you know, there's seasons in my life when it's easy to just kind of hit a spiritual flat line where you're stagnant in the faith, you're not seeking him as much as possible, maybe you've been distracted by other things, and the Lord has allowed this to happen in order to call a people, a nation, and the world back to him. He alone can cure this virus in an instant. Uh, there's no questions about that, but I think what is what we can all ask ourselves going through this is really what has lingered in my heart the last few weeks and months? Has it been Christ Jesus? Have I really been seeking Him? Uh, how much am I cleaving to the things of this world? And you know, Scripture tells us to fear not nor be dismayed, for the Lord our God is with us. And if you're a born-again believer, you can cleave to that message. And if you don't know the Lord, take this time today to repent of your sins and believe on Jesus as Lord and Savior.